Hey guys, it's me Joy, and today I am making taco bagel pizzas. <laughs> it sounds weird, but it's really good. Okay, what I did was I took three bagels and cut them in half. And then I'm going to put some uh, salsa on each one. Just a little bit. Kind of like you would uh, pizza sauce. And so we'll do that. And these are so good, you guys. And it, it's a good way to use up leftover... We had leftover bagels, and we had leftover taco meat. So I thought, well, why not? Since I didn't have any more tortillas, why not make bagel pizzas? Taco bagel pizzas. So this is actually something new for us, too. <laughs> but it sounded good, and I thought, well, why not? It's always good to use your leftover ingredients whenever you can. You know, it just makes things go better, farther. And in today's... The way the cost of everything is, you got to use every bit of what you're using, you know, just to get by. Especially if you have a bunch of people to feed. Okay, now and I have this leftover. Let's see the taco. Yeah, I have the leftover taco meat from the other day. It's got black beans and corn and uh, pep, uh, bell peppers and onions and, of course, hamburger meat. So, it should be really good. So we're just going to put some on there, some on there, and if it falls through the hole, it's not going to hurt anything. It's a bagel. It's supposed to, you know, <laughs> that's kind of the way that works. But yeah, I like to add black beans to my taco meat sometimes, black beans and corn, because it makes it go farther. You know, if you got more people to feed, which usually we have quite a crew <laughs> with our house and Randy's house now. You know, we send stuff over there to him and Jan all the time. So, there we go. All right. And I don't know about where y'all are at, but we have had some crazy weather. First, it was like 60 degrees and raining, and now it's 90 degrees and so humid, you, you can't even stand it. I can't stand it, put it that way. <laughs> The humidity is killing me. It's just terrible, y'all. Okay, now, I have some, uh, I had a block of pepper jack cheese. So I'm going to put that on here. On each one of these. It was like half a block. Yeah, and it's not really that spicy. I was surprised that, you know, sometimes, sometimes if you get sliced pep pepper jack at the deli, it's pretty spicy. But this is really not. It's more jack than it is pepper. So... Which is okay. Okay. Now then, we did that. I'll probably give that to the dog. Um, oh, and then I've got some Parmesan cheese, which sounds weird, but it gives a little funky flavor, a little nutty extra flavor. So, and it's a nod to the Italian part of this, which really I don't know other than the Parmesan, what's well, Italian, but hey, there you go. You count it. the peppers. Yeah, now you're going to pop these in the oven at 350 for about 25, 30 minutes. It just depends. Keep an eye on them and watch how they go. But that's it. That's how easy it is, guys. And I'm glad you came in today. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.